your final word presentation can be a duplicate or a repeat of another one of your presentations by category. Not that you're doing the same speech again, but you could do another in the news, another informative, another persuasive, or another personal experience or brief opinion. Yes, you can hear I have a cold or a double ear infection. I just keep going. I'm trying not to think about it. As long as it's not COVID, I'm trying to speak. I just wanted to leave you with this video to remind you that it is one more presentation. I call it the final word because it's your final chance to speak in front of us formally, but it's not the last time you're going to be speaking. You'll be speaking for another 90 years and listening too. Now, if you don't want to do a repeat of one of the categories that we had in class, go into where it says presentations and you will see a folder that has special occasion speeches, like a toast at a wedding or a thank you address or a eulogy, which is a speech of praise for someone who has passed. So those tiny little speeches that we often hear in public gatherings that you don't even realize are speeches, they're very important and they're usually about two minutes long. Your final word speech should be two minutes to five or six minutes, but no longer. Try to get a quality. Pick a topic that you feel like you do not need to read every word. You do not have to do it in manuscript. You can really just do it from notes or an outline and feel like you have an idea, a message, and you're speaking directly to your audience. So figure it out. Figure out a topic you feel comfortable with. I'm sure you have something else you'd like to say for your final time in front of us formally. It's called the final word, free choice. I'm looking forward to seeing you all in class and hearing what you have to say. Thank you, everyone. See you soon.